Hey, so today I'm here to do a Frozen Impressions on a light novel that I read recently. Um, that is volume one of Occultic Nine by Shikura Chiyomaru. Um, I read, or I watched a couple episodes of the anime and I dropped it when it was airing back in the day. And I've been online and I've heard nothing about, <laughs> nothing but honestly bad things about Occultic Nine. But I don't agree with those. I mean, I agree with some of them, but I don't agree that it's a bad story. It's an interesting beginning to a story. This volume kind of ends in a very unsatisfying way. Luckily, I have volume two on the, like, in the mail. It should be here, like, in a day uh, as I'm filming this. So hopefully that one gets a little bit more involved in the story. We get a little bit further on. We get to know more about these characters. There is a lot of people. Some of them I don't even think showed up in this first volume. No, actually they didn't, now that I think about it. Some of these characters aren't even in the first volume. Um, a lot of the problems that people had that I've noticed with um, the anime was in particular with this girl with her giant chest. And, like, I get it. That was There was a lot of boob physics happening in that show. Um, the manga does... or the manga. The light novel kind of suffers from the same thing. You don't physically see them, but Gamotan talks about them constantly. Is that his name? That's what she keeps calling him. I can't remember what his actual name is. Gamota? Gamon. <laughs> Yuta Gamon. Um, yeah, but Gamon talks about them constantly. Like, it's non-stop. But I, I mean, I get it. He's a high school kid. He's like probably just going through puberty at the time. Like, he is obsessed with women. So, like, I understand where he's coming from. That doesn't mean I like to read it. <laughs> but I understand it. Um, like, they're so big, even this girl here, this cute other little high school girl, I was like, wow, those are gigantic. And it's like, yes, I get it. She is very well endowed. Let's move on with the story. Um, but the other characters that we meet are pretty interesting. I liked, uh, in particular, this girl here, the Black Magic Girl, and then this girl here, the Magazine Writer, they were really interesting to read, and I can't wait to read more of them. Um, but yeah, this was a really good start to the series. I hope the series gets better as it goes along. I know the manga's finished, I know the anime is finished, but I haven't watched either one of them. I'm just gonna stick with the light novels for this one. So, like, I'm hoping it gets better as it goes, and I'm in it for the long run because Occultic Nine is done by the same people who did Steins Gate and Chaos Head and Chaos Child, and I haven't seen Chaos Child, but I've seen Steins Gate and it made me cry. I am playing the visual novel of Steins Gate right now and it made me cry. Um, Chaos Head confused the crap out of me, but I loved it. So I'm hoping Occultic Nine, like, continues to grip me and moves me along in its story and maybe makes me cry, maybe makes me confused, maybe makes me happy, but I don't think it will make me happy. I just, I want to get feels from this and I'm hoping that later on I get some feels from it. And honestly, I don't know who I would recommend this to. If you like paranormal stuff and are okay with a slow story, like a slow burn, then I think this is the story for you. Um, don't pick it up if you're expecting something really fast and like action's gonna go all over and be all crazy. Like, there's there's dead people. Like, people die in this one, but it's it's very slow. Not the death is slow, the death is very sudden. But like, even, it, they're all like off-screen deaths, so there's not a whole lot that happens in this story, but it's, it's just building, it's building a framework for what's to come. So I'm hoping that it gets better. As of right now, it was just pretty all right. So, I mean, I liked it. That's all I have to say about it. Um, yeah, see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>